The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. So this evening there's not a whole lot of wind to speak of on the eastern side of the country, but further off towards the west there's a breeze here and there through the eastern part of Colorado. We've got winds up towards 25 miles per hour, but I'm sure what jumped out to you is all the wind that we've got on the Arizona Mexico border. A lot of those spots have winds up towards 45 miles per hour. Some are ringing in at 30. If I can get it right in one of those red zones. Well, that's all reading in at 25 35. Anywho, the actual red itself is in that 45 to 50 range, so it's some pretty intense wind that's out there right now. That's with the high pressure that's coming in and the kind of early parts of the hurricane that's making its way towards the Pacific coast. Meanwhile, we're going to stay pretty quiet on this side of the country. There's not a lot of Atlantic activity going on. Even what's looking to develop in the Gulf is going to take a while to do so. We've had low pressure, which has been sticking around, and that's been helping to prevent some of that tropical activity through today, especially. Now that's going to move a little bit off towards the northeast. And higher pressure is going to move into the central part of the country, a little bit closer to us. It's going to squish down some clouds, but it will help some lower pressure move into the Gulf, and that helps some tropical development there doesn't look like there's going to be much in terms of storm chances because that high pressure does such a good job of preventing clouds for us. We stay pretty dry not only through Monday, but well into Tuesday, Wednesday. I think we don't really get showers until Thursday and it takes until Friday for a storm system with any strength to build even that one a lot lighter than some of the storms we've seen earlier this season. What that is going to bring is a lot of heat. If you want to spend some time outside before that heat really builds, just know there's going to be plenty of pollen to deal with. Ragweed is the main problem right now but grasses are also still out there and the pollen levels have risen over the past couple of days. Tomorrow it's going to be worse than it was today. And then once we hit Sunday, it's just pretty consistently bad. It stays like that for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's going to take some time really until that next storm system comes through for any of that pattern to change. So it does put a damper on things, but you probably don't want to spend too much time outside early next week either. With temperatures pushing up towards 97, 98, 99, it's going to be particularly hot through Monday and Tuesday. As we look a little bit further out from that in the next six to 10 days, there's going to be a lot of heat concentrated towards Louisiana in particular, and we're generally going to be above average, but not quite as hot as we are going to be for that Monday, Tuesday stretch. So it's more going to be upper 80s into the low 90s rather, rather than the consistent mid to upper 90s that we have for the start of the week. Enjoy the more comfortable temperatures that we have tonight with most of us in the 50s. Covington at 53. Danville 56, some 40s in Withville and Hillsville. Tomorrow, our temperatures are about average again, really similar to today. Pulaski at 81, Danville 86, Lexington 83. Now, there's a whole lot of sunshine, so if you are spending time outside, make sure you've got hat, sunscreen, all of that to protect you from any sunburns. And then on Sunday, not only do we have all of that sunshine again, but extra heat, so make sure you're hydrated if you have to be outside for any amount of time. Pulaski's at 88, Danville at 93, and Lexington at 90. On the extended forecast, temperatures will rise even further on Monday and Tuesday, putting us well into the 90s. Wednesday brings us down a good amount, but it's going to take some time before we're really back towards average. Extra sunshine Thursday and Friday helps to warm us back up. On the 3 degree guarantee, we added on another $10 today with a high of 87, putting us at 500 even for the month so far.